Okay, so I'm going to do a little video about how I use the Boss RC2 loop station. Uh, here's a little quick tour of the pedal board that I'm going through today. I use this uh, Boss OC2 octave pedal when I want to play bass lines, which I often do when I'm using the loop pedal. And I also use this old MXR envelope filter for, uh, also for playing bass lines. And I've got Probably we'll use that sparkle drive for solo. Got the wah pedal, the OCD, the rat. There's my tuner, Boss DD3 delay, and the volume pedal. And then it's running into this Boss loop station. So there it is. Uh, I'm going to show you real quickly the, uh, the amp that I'm playing through here. This is my. Uh, Marshall JMP1 rack mount preamp and 9200 um, power amp and then that's a Lexicon MPX1 multi-effect reverb it's going through this old uh, cabinet here it's got 30 watt Celestians in it I think it's a carbon cabinet okay how do I use this loop station pedal uh, I use it for two things. I use it to accompany myself to practice and then I use it if I get uh, a gig where I need to play solo and uh, you know I do a little bit of solo guitar work but I'm, uh, I'm much better in a group setting so this allows me to accompany myself you know play some chords and bass lines and then play uh, melodies and solo over the top of it so the first way that I use this pedal, it's I think the most basic way to use it. You put it, the mode selector into the auto setting right here and I turn this phrase track uh, up to about 12 o'clock for starters and the guide track all the way off. That's the part that will be the drums you know in the second half of this video but I don't use that most of the time when I'm uh, you know, playing in front of people. Um, sometimes I use it when I'm practicing. But anyway, the uh, so to start off with, I'm going to use this the octave pedal and the envelope filter for a bass line. That's what it sounds like. That's a clean sound. So, so what I like to do is just tap my foot along with the part. thing is that when you're doing this freestyle without paying attention to any drum loop you want to start and stop the pedal on one and of course sometimes I do better than others but we'll see how it goes today up some chords it's real simple I just let it play when I hit the pedal once it'll punch me in hit it again it'll punch me out So I like it okay, but I think uh, I think I could have turned my volume down a little bit because I think the chords are just a little loud. So what I'm going to do to delete that last take, click and hold it, and the light turns yellow and then flashes, and now it's gone. Hit the pedal again, and I'll be back into overdub mode.
you double hit it to stop it. So I'm going to go back here now. And uh, so what I want to do first, I'm just going to click and hold the pedal. And I don't know why it does that, it, but it plays a little bit. But then when the yellow light gives the flash signal, that means that it's just emptied that loop and it's gone here. So that's what I want. So uh, to select a drum pattern, you just move this mode selector over the 4-4 thing, that's the time signature selector, and the drum pattern selector is this one with just a couple notes in it. So you can either hit this button to get a different pattern, or you can hit this one. And I think if you go over to the time signature selector and Yeah, it goes to 3-4, but let's play in 4-4 four, four for now. Oh, still in 3, okay. So back to 4-4. Four, four. And I'll go over back to this auto th setting here. And now if I hit this thing, it becomes a tap tempo thing. So I want to go a little slower than that. That's a good tempo. So this is my, my drum balance here, this inside one here. And now it works the same as the last one that we just did. So we can stack up our track and it will be perfectly timed to the drum loop, which is nice.